One of my favorite parts about being an Eminem fan is the amount of media surrounding him that isn't officially released, but we know of. I mean, all you have to do is scroll through YouTube and you're going to find unreleased tracks, games, unreleased media, TV shows. So today I'm going to be walking through my favorite pieces of lost media by Eminem. Before this video starts, I want to say I make a lot of Eminem content. So if you're interested in that, be sure to subscribe. But yeah, let's get straight into the video. Bulletproof by 50 Cent. Bulletproof was a game released in 2005 for the PlayStation 2 and Xbox. The story to this game features members of the G-Unit rap crew and 50 Cent searching for vengeance against hitmen that attempted to murder him so it's based off the true story kind of it features dr dre playing an arms dealer it also features eminem which is why it's on here eminem plays a corrupt police officer and a couple other famous celebrities that we know from the music industry i've never played this game i think the story to it seems cool it's pretty cool that it's based off of like real people and the real story you can kind of say if i'm not wrong i believe this is the only video game that eminem is in so that makes it extra special at the beginning of the game 50 cent gets a call from his old cellmate and him and his crew go to help him but he ends up getting shot nine times. So yeah, it's got a pretty cool story to it. I love that we get to see people that we know from the music industry already. There's parts of it where they're selling bootleg music. So let me know if you want me to play this in a video. And yeah, that's the Bulletproof game with 50 Cent, Eminem, and Dr. Dre. Next up, we have Eminem and his Osama Bin Laden diss. If you've scrolled YouTube for any amount of time looking for rare Eminem songs, you've probably come across this. There's plenty of different versions of it, but the very first one was by a user named X391. Now, this is a whole rabbit hole you can go through, but basically Eminem denied that this was him. He did not make this song. This leaves us with a conspiracy theory, I guess you could say, on who made the song. There's plenty of different artists that sound like Eminem, very similar voices, and we know this was before AI, so it's not a fake voice pretending to be him, but it's most likely either an impersonator or Eminem, and he just doesn't want to be affiliated with it because it's controversial. The most widely accepted reason for Eminem being affiliated with the song is that back then, LimeWire was very popular, where you could just see a file name and click it and download it. However, you could name your files whatever you want, so most likely someone impersonated Eminem and made it sound like him and posted a file called Eminem Osama Bin Laden Dis. Someone downloaded it, thought it was Eminem, and reposted it to YouTube. However, we have no proof of that, and we have no proof of Eminem ever being involved with the song. And this is a very deep rabbit hole you can go through. I'll put a link down below to a very well-made video. And if you want to see the full story broke down step-by-step step of someone walking through the entire song and the history of it, be sure to watch that. The Slim Shady Show. This was basically a TV show built about Eminem. It had plenty of characters based on real-life people we know from Eminem, such as Slim Shady, Marshall Mathers, Ken Kenev. Eminem, you know, the different personas that he has. Exhibit was also involved in the show. It only aired nine episodes, but it's very interesting to me that so many people have not heard of this. The rapper with the most sales of all time has a TV show and most people didn't even know. It originally aired in 2000 and all those characters would just do adventures around Detroit. This is the kind of show that you would not watch unless you're a big fan of Eminem just because of the references and everything. It's definitely a pretty funny show though. I mean, I haven't really gone back to it since I watched it for the first time, but if you are interested in watching it and you don't want to buy it, it's all over YouTube. You can find every Every single episode on YouTube if you just search for it. And yeah, for those of you who have watched it, let me know down below if you liked it. And imagine if he made another season for this next album coming up. I think it'd be a good promotion for his next album if he just revamped this. But yeah, that's the Slim Shady Show. Eminem's bootlegs and leaked songs. Now, given the fact Eminem is over 50 years old and he's been rapping for majority of his life, he has a lot of content out. And he's released plenty of albums and he still is to this day. However, there's a lot of content that was never officially released, but people were able to get their hands on. I'll put a spreadsheet up on screen of a compilation that someone made but if you're including leaks Eminem has over 30 albums made easily everything from the return of the dozen to relapse 2 to even the mixtapes and songs that he made before infinite as an Eminem fan I think the coolest thing about him is that every time you think you've heard every song there's something else that comes up I'm gonna put a link to this sheet down below and you can scroll through and there's hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of songs that you've never heard before you can find old recording sessions from the first time that he tried making these songs and how he remastered them and all of that but like I said when you've been making music for this long you're destined to have some songs leaked and it's really cool to see some of these songs that we've never heard before so you can see his mindset in these different times as he matures from being a kid all the way to where he is now wanting to blow up wanting to blow up needing money finally blowing up dealing with the fame yes there is the songs that we do here like say goodbye hollywood but it's really cool when you dive deeper and you see these old freestyles and leaks that barely anybody's heard before but you can see his mindset in these times detox by dr dre dr dre has been known for being one of the best producers of all time modernized hip-hop on the west coast helped make those people like snoop dogg and even eminem but even though he's been making music for this long he only has a couple albums out so when people heard about the album detox obviously they were very hyped up waiting for new dr dre and with how close eminem and dr dre was it's almost guaranteed that Eminem was on at least a couple tracks in this album. However, after waiting longer and longer and longer, it never came out. To this day, I'm recording this in 2024. We don't know almost anything about Detox. Barely any of it's been leaked. 
There's been no new information, no new release date. It could never come out for all we know. And I think that's why it's so interesting to so many people. When you have an artist as big as Dr. Dre and fans as big as his fans are, they're gonna want new music from him. And the fact that he hasn't really addressed canceling his album has made fans feel like it's gonna come out one day. But honestly, I feel like it's never coming out unless it gets leaked or something. But yeah, that's my Wasp Media on Eminem. One of my favorite things about Eminem is the fact that the further you look, the more information you can find. And I'm sure there's some stuff I didn't even get in this video. If there's anything I missed, let me know down below. But that's it. If you want to see more Eminem videos, you can click up here. I got a card full of tier list, albums, rankings, all that. Also got information on his new album. So if you want to see that, make sure to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. Peace out.